Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mega Man Collection. Last time we took out Crash Man and found a lot of one-ups while we're at it. So, why don't we put those one-ups to use and uh, we'll, we'll go to Quick Man now. I find uh, Quick Man's probably the toughest robot master of the eight to, to fight without the uh, without any special powers. Uh, but here we go. Start of the stage. See, they already tease you to get a one up here. Fortunately, we have a way to climb up. I could use number one. Let's use number three because we haven't used it. But it does. Bounces and then it scales up the wall. This stage doesn't have any uh, pitfalls to, to get yourself killed with, but they do have something else that will kill you instantly. And we're about to hit that now. See those beams? Get hit by them, you're dead. Oh! Another one up? Let's see here. Nine lives. We're definitely good to go. Let's not hit that button. And for some reason, the quick man stage, when you hit the, the menu to select the weapon, the screen goes black. I'm not quite sure why. Alright, let's move on. Oh, it went dark for a moment. I think we can use uh, Bubble Man's power here. Yeah, look at that. Finally, we get to use that. Yeah, when you kill the flame creature, things get dark. You will run to a... You'll think you'd be running forever, but it's really a, a wall. You gotta jump up. See, as you can see. It's trying to trick you, thinking you were running forever. Now, we, we got uh, probably the hardest part of the stage, where we're going to be avoiding a lot more of these, these beams. And there's two ways of handling it. So, first method. Let's save here. First method it is, you can use Flashman's power. Use that. This is probably what most people will use Flashman's power for if they have difficulty getting through these beams because they come all over the place and you're just a millisecond off you're gonna die. That's how you, you get past it with Splash Power. But let's not do that. Let's do it without Splashman's Power. Alright, let's see if I can do it. Ooh, that was close. Say, I suck. That's why we got all those extra lives, right? All right. Hopefully, I don't do something again. But yeah, as a perfect example, if you don't do it perfectly, you're going to die. Let's, let's do it right this time. Yeah, let's do a little left. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Get over to the right. To the left. Yeah, I got my extra life back. All right, we made it. Hello. I hate those guys. I think there's another one. You know what? I'll take the hit. 
All right. We made the quick man. My opinion, the hardest robot master. Because this guy is fast. See, look at that. How am I supposed to compete with that? Jesus. That's not what you do, guys. Yeah. See? It's really hard to avoid. What? He, he's weak to, uh, crash his power. And we're probably going to put that to use. He's also weak to Flashman's power. So let's put that to use. Even though I don't want to do this, but... He's just so difficult. Using Flashman's power, you can take half his health. And then you can use Crashman's power. Just lure him to the explosion. Look at that. One bomb almost took half of his health. And then, you just need to shoot him once. And down he goes. Yeah, pretty challenging stage overall. But, uh, you see, it's doable. Especially if you have the extra lives like I did. And we get a quick boomerang. I like the boomerang. It's pretty useful. It's it has a short range, but, uh, it, it does some damage. I'll probably put that to use next time. So, see you all later, and have a good one. Yeah, let's save.